<laughs> I told you last night I'm not into feet. Oh, did you, Ben? You told me that last night. Oh. When we were together. Screw you, Tom. Oh. You're actually lucky. I was gonna rub my nuts all over your forehead, but it's the first day, so I figured we'll get there in time. Thanks a bunch, tool bag. Toolbox. What? Toolbox. It's it's manlier. Don't you agree? What? Never mind. Never mind. Well, if the story doesn't reduce you to tears or anything like that, I'd really be interested to hear how you ended up sleeping in the grass near the cabins without your shirt on. See, that's a really funny story. Is it? No. Hey, Ben. Oh, uh, hey. You? Uh, what's up? Who the heck is she? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You knew yesterday. Uh, 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 I can, I, I can't explain. Ah, ow, okay, all right. No, see, no, I can explain. No. Jesus Christ, demon! Oh, oh shit! Oh. Uh, uh, all right, now! Uh. Good story. Is there a particular reason that Beth was there? Hmm? Beth? When you told the story, the girl you described sounded a whole lot like your ex-girlfriend, Beth, whom is here. Was she with you at the time, or...? No. Then why did you describe her in the story? I mean, the visual you painted in my head was definitely her. The same reason they kissed in the end, because it's my story, and I was there, and well, you weren't. Then who was it? If it's not... Beth, then it was... Don't worry about it. Maybe she was six feet tall, 400 pounds, and ebony. Was she? My story. Was I'm she? allowed to tell was it the she? way I want. Was yes. she? So, okay, so don't describe him as your hot ex-girlfriend if it's a fed Lebanese something. That's not important. Shut up. After it all went down, I was too afraid to go back to my house to get my stuff. So I came down a day early. Wise choice, comrade. Angry women are Tom's worst fear. Yeah. And you speak in the third person. And Ben's. Uh, Ben's, yes. But, see, the cabin was locked, because you're not here, and Clint just got here this morning. So Correct. I just came to my second favorite spot. The hangover spot. I sang it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ring-a-ding. Ring Whoa. Ring-a-ding-ding. Ding. Tom's got uh, bitches to please. Hello? Who's this? Speaker. Your favorite, who's our favorite person? Uh, my wings, obviously. Wings? My favorite person's Batman, not uh, a winged character. No, you crazy white boy. I have wings, but not a game. I'm over here, those are trees. Over where? There are many trees, mysterious wingman. Over here. Over here, come on, getting warmer. Come on. Oh, you finally made it to the bed ways. It's just Death Dragon, the drug lord. How you doing? Hi. Uh, oh, good to see you. I, I am Wings, by the way. Uh, not a dragon. This is my dog, Jeffrey. If you see, he's making poopy. Uh, That's your don't, dog. don't touch my dog. That's sorry, I guess. It's okay. Uh, We'll get to you in a minute. Dragon. Last year, at the same time, at the same spot. Mm, you were yeah. Death Dragon, the drug demon. And you sold were, us. You yeah. had a cape with wings on Medic, it. No, I am wings. That's, that's me, not the doggy with the d dragon. No one said dog. The only dog here is that one taking a shit on the sign. This is just my dog. Don't, hey, don't touch my dog. Uh, you make a poopy. I clean well, no, dog. that's his tail. It's not no. A... I got some questions to ask you. Uh, what? So, we're just meeting him. We met him last year. His name was Death Dragon the Demon. No, 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 no. Uh, and I, now he's introducing himself to us. Listen, uh... Even though he, know, he has your cell number, 
My name but is, we're just meeting. My name is Wings, because I, you know, my stuff get you. What is that? This is uh, my information. I ask you question. I get you the right product. Now listen, Ben. You look, uh, you look pretty hot. You like, you, look, you know, good with the ladies. So uh, I want to make sure, that, you know, you, you know, what do you do? Life, lifeguard. Oh yes, uh, that's. I see that now. Lifeguard. Very good. Uh, you know, Ben, it seems like uh, you'll be a hit with the ladies out there, saving people from the waves and stuff like that. Yeah, you look very good, and not so much this, but you're good. Uh, listen, uh, I want to find the right product for you. Um, so, if you don't mind, I ask you some questions. So, uh, what is that? Do I, this is my customer experience worksheet. You are my customers. I want to make sure you get a good experience. Experience worksheet? Yes. What if we don't want to deal with? Listen, work? I just it's okay. It's good for me. It's good for you, and make everything go better. Okay. Uh, hit me, I guess. Well, what kind of uh, hi would you like to have tonight? What? what? Yes. Tell me, uh, what does exactly does a lifeguard do? Uh, I guard lives. Of course, of course you do. You're, yes, very good. Um, uh, now listen, I have a question for you. Um, what would the perfect product do for you? Good question. I like to uh, lead with that. I tell you what the perfect product would do for me is it would let me not be in this moment right now. What is wrong with this moment? What's wrong with this moment is you're stopping me from being where I want to be. And I no, I know exactly where you want to be. Do you? I do. Okay. So, tell me, what do you guys do in your free time besides guarding lives? Uh, uh, sleep? 20 something. What do you think we do? Good, get sleep. Yeah. Okay, judging by what you guys have told me, a lot of information, very good. I have the perfect uh, product for you. Uh, so I have your punch bowls here. Punch bowls? Punch bowls. Uh -huh. I have everything to carry the punch bowls in case you drop things and you get spilling. And you don't want spillage in a village, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it, let me just write this up for you. And um, what do you say? Right. This is good. Can you sign there? Oop. So let's see. Punch bowls. Yes. Some unidentifiable alcohol. <laughs> That we don't, don't worry want. about it. It's very safe. So basically, and none of the stuff here we'd asked for, but you're putting it on the invoice anyway. Listen, you're uh, we don't want protection. You need the protection. No, we don't, don't need yes, the. You no, don't, no, no. Do we not never argue, get the do protection. Do not argue with the genius. Uh, let's see, and then at the bottom here, you're saying it's about three hundred. Thousand, but I make it down to three hundred. Three hundred thousand? No, 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 three, just three hundred. Three hundred? For you today. Where did the thousand come from? Just nowhere. Sidebar. Don't forget beach stock. Looking at this, everything we're gonna need. Everything he wrote on here is actually quite useful. Wow, this worksheet works wonders. I'm genuinely surprised. Uh -huh punch the yeah everything actually the bowls Should we get the protection how do we need protection for well i mean if it's, it gets cracked we can get another it's one it's alcohol well i mean the get the a bottle. sponge it's a i mean a new bottle as it stands right now tom it's three hundred dollars and price look is at, always negotiable we have to have him look talk. at the receipt we have to have him talk it's to fifty dollars for the substances two hundred and fifty dollars but the protection. protection all right that's that's understandable let's go I tell you what, Wings, we're actually okay with your little estimate here. Your lifestyle questions were quite, we're, we're quite on point. Um, the only thing is we're not going to go with the protection because that's dumb. And we are not going to pay $300. We'll, we'll pay 50 Ew. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. 50 uh, listen. Let if me, it's a problem, you can go and talk to your manager. Let me talk to my manager. You want to do... Listen, I'm not very good at math, so whatever you want. 50 and you can have it by next week? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So can you tell us quick why the hell you're speaking in an accent? Uh, what accent are you talking about? You were from Poland last year. Spell it, buddy. P-O-L-A-N-D. I never heard of such place. Is it like Pluto? Yeah, it's very similar. Let's go.